Hello. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. How's it going? Oh, I'm a little a little high. Do, 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 do. Hello, hello. All right. Let me uh get into it. Where's, where's my music? I'll turn that down just a smidge. All right, all right. Let me... Go ahead and make some posts. All right. Let's see. Mm 
All right, let's uh, let's get to it here. Oh, let's see. Actually, I wonder. Uh, I don't know what I want to listen to. Oh, what's happening? Sons of Savage. Thanks for the follow. I really appreciate it. Things are quiet. It's because I'm trying to figure out what I want to listen to while doing some painting. I'll uh, go ahead and... Get to that screen. Me painting some. And I need to mess with my lighting a little bit. Make sure everything gets good. Maybe my light wasn't so stupid. Whoop. Let's try that out for size. That's a little bit better. So I need to move. My stuff just a tiny bit. There we go. That's a little bit better. Lighting's still kind of weird, but that's all right. All right. Oh dear. Why? Mako, what's going on? Are you paying me to run through stuff? Do you escape your reality? Escape your reality. Thanks for the follow. I really appreciate it. Ma Mako, what's going on? Uh, heck yeah, I'll just listen. I'll just listen to music. Do do do. Yeah, Mako, I noticed. I noticed you saw my YouTube because I get all the uh uh notifications. Let's see. Hmm. This miniature got messed up somewhere. This spray paint was rubbing off. Uh, let's see here. Let me see if I can fix that. That was cr <laughs> it was cringe. <laughs> oh, oh, Mako. It's all right. Uh, I could have sworn this thing came with a brush. Like my other one does, but I guess not. Let's see if this will fix it. This is just like a normal like liquid like primer. I don't know why my uh my 
spray paint rubbed off. I know it was sitting in a box, but... Got messed up somewhere from point A to point B, I guess. Let's see. All right, Mako. Have a good night. Have a good sleep. Don't cause any trouble. You hear me? No. No trouble. It's Gabe. Do you like... Do you, do you paint uh, miniatures yourself? Let's see. I'll probably start with her. I've got to be in a camera. Can't manage around twenty years on and off. Yeah, I'm. I'm still. Uh, I'm still pretty new when it comes to uh, painting. I paint like every once in a while, um, or at least well, I did. It was like yeah, one every like couple weeks or one every month or like something like that. And then I kind of made it my goal this year to at least paint one mini a week. But I'm not really into like Warhammer or anything like that. So I have to find other things to paint. I mean, theoretically, I could still paint Warhammer if I really wanted to. see. I think she's more like a... More like an elf girl. I'll do a flesh tone. Let's see. I'll get that out. Paint something if it looks interesting. Oh yeah, Mako, how's it going? How's it looking? You got you got post you got post pics. Yeah, Warhammer is pretty costly. My husband does Warhammer. And uh he's always buying more models. He has like he has an an orc army that's like halfway painted, I think. And then he has a Tau army. That he barely plays, and now he has, I think, Space Marines. But he's been actively painting those. Uh, what other colors do I want? I've considered getting some uh, Warhammer models to paint. Uh, there's some places near where I live that'll buy uh, used Warhammer models or you know, models that are already put together, but that are unpainted. And so I could do that, because I'm not really a put war Warhammer models together. Um, I have patience, but not for that. Um, I do like putting gun, like, gunpla and, like, model kits together, but that's probably because it doesn't involve glue of any kind, like Warhammer does. Like, if there was Warhammer without the glue, I'd, I'd probably do it. I'd probably, I'd probably put Warhammer together. Warhammer. So you want to paint and buy, but to play. Oh, it's too costly built armies. Oh, yeah. I mean, you never know, like, when uh, the rules on 3D printing might, might lax up a bit. That would be great. Maybe if people are just playing, like, I don't know, like, Street Warhammer, maybe Games Workshop will lower their prices. Mm. Gonna need 
balls. <laughs> yeah, just don't go in an official... I mean, technically, Mako, as long as you don't do any type of, like, official tournaments, you can do whatever the fuck you want when it comes to models and 3D printing. They're Warhammer kits that clip together. Are they are they also paintable? Well, I guess they don't have to be well, eh. Yes and no. I mean the model kits that I have, I don't need to paint, but I'm thinking about getting into uh model model painting as well. Warhammer Club. Wait, your friend made space brains out of clay? That's amazing. I'd love to see ya. Oh, I need to raise my desk a smidge. All one color that can prime. Oh, interesting. Heroes lines of kits. I don't think I've ever heard of those. Oh, let me get you a little bit closer. Closer. Any time now. Now I gotta adjust. I wish I had a permanent, like, painting setup. But I don't. See, they give a model and data card about the hero. That's some chaos ones. Mako. No. It. Ma Mako, you're you're basic you're basically telling me just to stop being anxious. And that's very rude. If it doesn't bother me, then it's not a problem. <laughs> just, just remember that. If anybody stops telling you to do this, that, or the other, ignore them. Because if it doesn't bother you, then it's none of their business. There was a point in time where I was taking anti-anxiety medication, which really helped a lot. And, uh, during that time, I, I didn't bite my nails as much. Um, but, uh, anti-anxiety meds, they're, they, they come with side effects that are not all that great. 
Oh. I no longer take them. And I'm generally able to live it with the anxiety because it doesn't really cause too much of a problem in my life. People automatically assume when you have something like depression, well, like symptoms of like depression or anxiety that it automatically is a problem when in reality it, it really isn't. Other people might think it's a problem, but if it doesn't really affect your everyday life and if you're generally fine with it then it doesn't really need to be fixed it's I think a lot of people they think they think they need therapy because uh, I don't know they have anxiety, but then you find out that the anxiety doesn't really cause a problem in their life. It's like well, if it doesn't cause a problem, then I don't know what you need me for. mental illness and so illness and therapy is quite complicated it's like the moment you start feeling sad people are like you need to go to therapy and it's like well mm, not really <laughs> not no that's not that's not how it works that's that's not really how it works. I'm sad most of the time. That's just just cuz who well, that's who I am. Right. You can call it mental illness all you want, but at the end of the day it doesn't really bother me all that much. And so therefore it's not a problem. Yeah, everyone has. Everyone has their things. Yeah, therapy isn't always the solution. Do most people need therapy? Probably not. Even though therapy is very helpful in some aspects. I think it's just people aren't taught. Um, how to deal with their own emotions. I didn't really think of a color scheme. So I'm going to have to figure it out on the way. You can find things that help, such as a hobby. Exactly. Hobbies are helpful. Every, t every time. Oh, like, I would have somebody... I'd always remember, like... You know, somebody would come in with, like... I don't know, depression symptoms or, like, anxiety symptoms. And I'll be like, what do you do with your life? Like, what is what does your day-to-day -day look like? And they're like, 
uh, I wake up and I go to school and I study and I go back and then I sleep and I'm just like, uh, what else do you do? I'm like, do you have any hobbies or anything? N no, not really. I'm like, well, we should start out with that. Because you might need to take a break. Literally, literally, I think half, half of people that go into therapy, they literally, they need a break. Like, they need to chill. Like, they need to come home from whatever, what they're doing. They need to sit down on the couch and then do nothing. Or do something that doesn't involve, like, a whole lot of cognitive effort. Do. Danny, hello, how's it going? I just, I, f I feel really bad for those people who just feel like they have to go, go, go. And I've seen some people that it, that are like that and they just can't like seem to like stop and like slow down. And then, and then you got problems like, I don't know, systemic racism and homophobia, which causes a lot of issues. And, you know, like, you know, we're taught about those types of issues in school and how to talk about it with your clients who might be like from another race or ethnicity or whatever and i'm just i'm just like what am i what am i supposed to do like i think i can advocate all i want for those of another race or ethnicity or like social class or whatever. I'm like, is it, is it really going to make a difference? Especially in the person's life of whoever, whoever I'm treating. I'm just like, if, if the problem is racism, like if the problem is this person's being discriminated against, like I could tell them how to advocate for themselves. But most likely, at the end of the day, they're they're either going to have to find some place where they're not being discriminated against. Or they're just going to have to deal with it. Like, to the best of their ability. It's really, it's a really fucked up system. It's a, it's a fucked up system. And I hate it. It might, it might, it might seem like I'm just like talking out of my ass here. <laughs> People are like, what is this shit going on about?
And then like... <sighs> and just like... What am I... I'm just, I'm always just like, what am I, what am I doing? Like, I'm just another, just another white girl trying to be a, a therapist. Which, I mean, is cool and all, but... When you're the type of person who thinks that most people don't need therapy, they need life skills to training and oh, I forgot whole bit You don't have to worry about too not to worry too much about the underside or the back side. Yeah. Sometimes I'll go off on those weird tangents. About how everything's fucked up. <laughs> and we're like all powerless to fucking change it. Oh my god, you guys all see that, uh, that, that bill? Was it, oh god, was it the Oklahoma bill? Hold on, what bill was it? Was it, the, was it Oklahoma? Sorry, I gotta look. Oops, where is it? Yeah, Oklahoma. 30, 3084. HB. Aw. Aw. This is so dumb. This is. This is. This is so dumb. Oh shit. Oklahoma. HB. 3084. Like. It's, it's, 
It's the dumbest shit ever. It is, it is literally the stupidest thing. Where's the... Where is that the text? I want the text. Da -da -da. All right, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna paste, paste this in. Look at this shit. It's so dumb. I can't believe it's real. Like, what? Like, like I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Like. Who, who introduced that bill? For one. Like. Cause I don't know who who introduced it. Um, I just read the bill. I didn't I didn't read any on the information about the bill. But I was like, Ooh, whoever that guy might may be, he, he, wh whoever his idea was that he must be projecting. <laughs> like there there must be some serious projection happening that's interesting you're not from the state yeah like it's it's a it's a it's a wild it's a wild ride here in in the states it's uh there's there's something something new I just just happens just every day like we're we're gonna be going back in my day we were openly allowed to be furries at school God, it's so it's so dumb <laughs> I, I don't, like who who wronged that guy like who wronged him so so bad be a kid yeah. act that way in your personal life well I mean, here's the thing, there's, as far as I'm aware, there's no issues here, like, like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what the, what the furry kids are up to nowadays. <laughs> like, the, the, the furry kids back in my day, were, I mean, they were... I mean, far from normal, but it's not like, it's not like that caused any trouble. Oh, oh my god, what's happening? EVE, hello, Kuru! I had a feeling that was gonna be you. I had a feeling that was you. I was like, who? You like the crab cure? How's it going? I don't know if I like the black pants. I'll try to lighten them up a little bit. But not like that. I think I had too much water.
Let's see. What's with the furry talk? I don't I don't know if you saw that link. Um some uh, some Oklahoma bill involving furries. I see it's wanting litter box in the bathroom. Oh yeah, I, I remember seeing something about that, but like Like, why would, like, schools wouldn't even agree to that, like, to begin with. That's flat out weird. Just, just a smidge. It's... I don't know. In my opinion, the bill's the bill's a little weirder. <laughs> like the, the shit about the litter boxes in the bathroom. Like, yeah, I can I can be like, yeah, like that's just kids being like real dumb, right? Like kids are just kids are just stupid, right? But like. But like the bill, the, that bill is like written by grown ass adults. Who, who I guess don't understand that you don't have to take children seriously. Cosmo, what's going on, Cosmo? See, school hasn't changed the broken stall that's been closed. I don't think they would spend their money on litter boxes. Exactly. And it's like, I know we're kind of in that time where we're like, we should let kids explore their identity or whatever. But, uh, there's there's still boundaries to that. I guess that's what people don't understand. Like, I've been looking at jobs and I'm like, well, maybe I should be more open to like dealing with kids. Even though I don't really want to. And I'm just like, you know, I'm probably going to eventually come across that that kid who who's going to be a furry and they're going to want to wear the, the ears all the time, which I remember kids like that. And I'm going to be like, cool. Cool, but uh, you got you to scale it back a tiny bit. We want, I mean, yeah, Cosmo, like, we want to let kids be kids, but kids also still have responsibilities because kids aren't going to be kids forever. Kids will eventually turn into adults and they need to be functioning adults. So yeah, like, I mean, I was that weird, weird anime kid in school, right? Back in the day when it was weird to like anime, right? With, with, with the group of kids who were also the weird anime kids. Um, it's like, yeah, like nobody, nobody was like, you can't do that, blah, blah, blah. But like, we all knew that there were boundaries to that kind of thing, right? Being, being the weird the weird anime kid who did weird shit. <laughs> I 
make school a nice place that kids actually want to go to. Yeah, exactly. You give them, like, you know, school is supposed to be, like, I wouldn't say a fun place, but you're supposed to be comfortable there, too, you know, because you have to be there, like, six hours a day, five days a week for, like, your entire fucking life. But yeah, there there is a difference between dressing up at Halloween and just acting like an animal the entire time. It's like, no, little Billy, like you need to you need to start walking on two legs because you're a human being, and you're gonna you're gonna fuck up your body if you don't start doing it. <laughs> But yeah, I think that's what's missing from society is the bound the society's children nowadays is probably the boundaries. Cause we're we're too focused on giving them individualization, which is good. We like individualization. But they also still need to fit within society. Um no one likes to be ostracized from society. So you can't be all weird all the time. Like, um... Oh, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> Don't give me get out the spray bottle. Exactly. Kids need to have an imagination. Well, yeah. But there's also a time and place for imagination. Which is most of the time. Telling no is not the worst thing you can do. Enabling their every whim is. That Cosmo, you've you've hit the mark. learn what failure oh better to know to learn what failure is and to say we are all winners exactly it's not cool we're all winners it's you did a good job either way and then then you learn and then you do better the next time Kenny, your own school. What did that note carry? So what the fuck did they use the letter <laughs> box? I think the whole litter box was just fucking kids being stupid kids and saying shit and then adults also being stupid and being like, can you believe these kids? And thinking they're like logical grown ass adults when they forget that they're, they're just they're just stupid kids who think they they know what they want kids say stupid shit all the time you can't take them seriously using people that are all winners will harm them in the long run yeah yeah I think that's when that's when they give up and they're like, oh, I'm just gonna become a content creator instead. And
I'm trying to figure out what to do. As I said, I don't really have a color scheme going on. There's a lot of detail in like this outfit. And they cry they're going nowhere with content creation. Not man, not everybody's made out for content creation. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm made out for content creation. But I do it. I mean, well, I mean, content creation is that I don't I stream and maybe make some YouTube shorts. Um, but other than that, I don't take too much time with uh making YouTube videos. I'm literally the type of person, I'm like, I just want to do my job and go home. <laughs> I don't think I'm anywhere with it. Yeah, Cosmo, we have a lot of fun. E even if we're not going anywhere with it. I have a lot of fun fun playing Phasmophobia and Splatoon. Yeah, Q, you're trying to make you're trying to make it up there. I just, unfortunately, I don't have a niche. I don't know if I ever will. I'll have to go back and... God, why is this, why is this looking so terrible? see that chick is still around too wait what do you mean what do you mean that chick's still around oh the five dollars a month chick Anyway, the fun is the name of the game. Just have fun. Yeah. There was a, oh my god, there was this video that came across my suggestion feed today on YouTube. And it was some person, like, ranting about, like, the VTuber space and how, like, it's really, really toxic and shit. And I'm just like, well, I don't have any of those problems. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, Han, Han, I don't know where you've been, but uh, every time I see any sort of toxicity, I'm, I'm turning around. Well, I mean, I guess, I guess I'm probably better at it, probably better at seeing it than, than others. But like, I think, I think there's a lot of people that can't see it, the toxic, a lot of toxicity. I can generally see it coming from a fucking mile away. And so every time I see something, I'm just like, nope, no, I'm turning around. Goodbye. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get myself entangled with, with any of that nonsense. Yeah, Kiru. Mostly, yeah. Like, I do sort of agree. But the thing is, is we're, we're, we're just going to be real. Just. People, a lot of people. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna sound real, real like harsh when I say this. A lot of people are just horrible human beings. Some are intentional, and unfortunately, some are not intentional. So people don't know that they're doing it. <sighs> So 
So I think there's a lot of people out there that don't realize that they're being toxic until it gets pointed out. And then it gets pointed out and then they get all angry that it got pointed out. And then some people are some people are purposely toxic because it gets them like views. Like it gets them clout. And then then suddenly they're trending on Twitter. And then they gain a whole bunch of followers. see because they were raised that way nobody told them no yeah i got told no all the time when i was a kid no this no you can't do that it's his uh being told no is why i'm not athletic because my parents wouldn't let me join any sports teams um, like, if my, if my parents would have been like, oh, heck yeah, like, you can get, you can get a drum set and you can play the drums and everything like that, like, I probably would have gone the music, music route, because I was pretty, I was decently, like, rhythmically inclined, but, um, I did not go that route. I had to, I played a different instrument, which kind of made me hate playing instruments. But I love playing the drums. Now, just to think, if my parents would have let me play drums as a kid, I'd probably be pretty decent at them right now. But I gave up on that dream a long time ago. <laughs> The worst ones are the ones that don't know they're being they're doing it. Cause oh yeah, because they think they're being nice. Yeah, but they're being assholes. Yeah, I hate those people. Well, I don't hate hate those people because most of the time they don't realize that they're doing it. That they're doing anything wrong. Let's see, being told no is why you're not a criminal cosmo. Uh I mean, to be fair, you didn't grow up with like the internet. Or like a whole lot of technology, so there obviously wasn't a whole lot you could do back then, except for getting in trouble. <laughs> Change interest like every two seconds. The only one I have been able to keep is art. Yeah. I couldn't even keep I'm I'm pretty terrible at art. I'm not a very good artist. I try, but I just don't practice as much as I should. I've been doing I mean I've been, obvious obviously I've been doing more mini painting and trying to get better at mini painting. Um, and, uh, 3D modeling, I've been trying to do that. Cosmo, Cosmo, do you see my raccoon? That I, uh, that I, that I DM'd you? I modeled a raccoon. <laughs> I I really need to work on like texturing. <laughs> right now I'm still kind of in like the the learn how to build stuff stage. Um But he was just kind of like a like I, I model, I modeled it, and then I was like, "Uh, I don't want to 
deal too much with with like texturing and detail. <laughs> I'm hoping that I'll that I'll, a I'll be able to to um to, like make my own things and be able to print them out on a 3D printer. So I'm hoping to eventually be able to do that. And then um, I'm hoping to have like a, like a 3D, a 3D model from scratch by the end of the year. So like, so I'm using, I'm using Vroid right now, but um, I'm hoping to have one made from scratch, um, modeled after, modeled after my live 2D model that'll be getting made here soon. So, that raccoon has seen some shit, Cosmo. I'm not doing too bad when it comes to modeling, I've been watching some videos. The face, the face is pretty difficult because you have like kind of detailed features, like you have the eyes and the, you have the mouth and like the nose that kind of have to all be like a specific way. I'm getting better at it. I'm definitely figuring it out. You don't have a style, but once you do, it's over for everyone. Oh no. Well, RIP everyone once that does happen. <laughs> All right, let's I hate tiny faces. They're literally the bane of my existence. Speaking of things based on your model. Yeah, Yuki did a really good job um, on my reactive PNG. Let's see. Let's 
see one thing. What are we good at is cooking. Talking about babies. What? On babies. When were we? No, no, no babies here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's that? This this is not seem like a light flush. Oh, I do, <laughs> I do hate tiny faces. <laughs> Look how tiny it is. It's so small. Also, it looks kind of weird because why? This is supposed to be a light flush, and it looks pinkish. Just kind of wanted like a that that looks like sickly. Why does it look sickly? Is it not mixed up enough? Like, let's see, you you still love cheek? Well, I'm glad you love cheek. Cheek's here to stay. Cheek will never leave. In fact, I actually want to redesign Cheek. I want to get someone to redesign her. And then uh, turn her into a, a live 2D model. Yeah, it's just a small little guy. But with Sheik, that'll probably have to be something I have to do in the future. Oh, that's... That was too much. Too much. Really? Did I really forget a whole ass ear? I really, I really just did miss a whole other ear on the other side of her face. Like. Let's see if I'm able to get the rest. Uh, 
I need to find out when our, our local hobby shop is having their next painting competition. Because so I'll probably enter it again. I entered one last time. I didn't win, but I did get some votes. Someone someone had to show off with their 3D printed dark magician girl. And then, you know, because it's pretty much almost exclusively dudes that were voting. Not totally not not saying that that's why that guy won or anything. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, well, I mean, it's almost almost exclusively dudes because to be fair, the voting was taking place during the war, like their Warhammer day or whatever. Like... So I mean I know I've 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 seen some some non non dudes in that store before so it's not like it's it's not like it's it was all it was all men Well no oh wait no I lied. The voting did take place over a week. But I never really saw a whole lot of not a whole lot of women go into that store. It's pretty pretty small store. Um mainly mainly Warhammer stuff, Warhammer tables. Ladies play video games and board games too. I mean, I'm not saying that they don't. Like, like I play board games and video games, but I don't I don't go to a hobby store to play board games. And they deserve I Cosmo. All right, let me let me just get some 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 garage kits that are tailored that are tailored exclusively for the female gaze I have been wanting to get some garage kits. They're pretty. I want to say they're not super expensive. I'm just worried about how I'd paint them because I don't have an airbrush. Also, I need to to take a break. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, or I'll hunt you down for sport.
All right. Like, so we go downstairs. Go downstairs to feed the, the meow meows, right? And then Eddie. Eddie's on the fucking counter. And he's licking the sack of potatoes. Just... She's just licking the sack. Like, come on. He's sitting, he's sitting on the counter. Just sitting on the counter. Just licking, just going, going to town. God. What a, what a great cat. Make myself, wait, make, make me the airbrush? I don't, I don't think I can do that. An airbrush would be nice, but like, I'm just not. I'm just not. Oh, okay, okay. I see. I see how it is. I'm not trying hard enough. God, not trying hard enough. I'd love to see you try. You do it. You be an airbrush. You put paint into your mouth and then blow it all over the miniature. Yeah, because that's definitely how that would work. <laughs> Imagine if it did. Imagine if that worked. <laughs> Transforms into airbrush. It's gonna be some Splatoon level shit right there. They used their own ink to to airbrush or to bright paint. Would inklings use their own ink to vandalize? And we're asking the big bigger questions here. Or would they would they still use spray paint? What are they going to do to get arrested? What what the inklings? Van vandalism? Wait, what do you mean? What are they gonna do when they get arrested? I don't know. Transform into squids and I don't I don't, I don't know. Run away? Swim away? Do do DNA test? Do DNA or DNA test a thing in in the the Splatoon universe? Wait, what are they going to do to get arrested? Oh, vandalism. Oh, what are they going to do? Comma get arrested. I mean it's a it's a possibility. I'm I'm 
I'm pretty sure police squid exist. <laughs> it sounded better. Also, so you got, what are they going to do to, wait, what are they going to do get arrested? There should be a, is there, there's a question mark there, right? What are they going to do? Get arrested? Like question mark? <laughs> Yay, English. English is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, question mark. There we go. Yeah, they're going to get arrested. I really hope they come out with more Splatoon games. Even though say they pretty much confirmed that the third one's going to be the last. I really hope they change their minds on that. So you hate English? You're so bad at it? And it's your native language. <laughs> I mean, t to be fair, English is apparently very difficult to learn. Which I don't really believe people who say that. But it, it could be it could be also difficult to learn because of how other language like our language doesn't work like some other languages do. Like, there's some languages out there that have the same word, but just spoken in different, like, ways. And then it's a completely different word, but we don't really have that. Been in speech since first grade. It's hard to learn oh, English. <laughs> it's your native. It's your native language. You've been in speech. Are you talking about like like the phonetics of the language? Like, is it hard to learn or is it just hard to speak? Or like, speaking in terms of reading or something, something like that. Yes. Yes to all of the above. All right. That makes sense. Because I know, I know like speaking it. Like, specifically, like, 
speaking it can be a little bit more difficult um, due to we are not a uh, phonetic due to it not not being a phonetic language. Which imagine if English was a phonetic language. That would that would be interesting. I guess I've never really under understood because I've always been pretty pretty decent at at speaking English. Say speech. That's oh, that's what your school taking out classes for one and one. Oh, to help with spelling and writing. Gotcha. Yeah, I have a, I mean, as I said, I've never really understood. Um, problems when it came to that, because I've always been pretty decent at it. I mean, it's my native language, but like, um, when it comes to knowing When it comes to, it, I wouldn't say intelligence, but I had educated parents. Um, and so statistically speaking, uh, people with educated parents are um, better off in those types of areas than non having non-educated parents. Is um ed educated parents are more more likely to have a higher income and then they're more likely to take their kids to things like libraries right I remember being in college and some people not being able to like pronounce like basic words. Well, actually, I wouldn't say basic college level words. And I always, I always thought that was kind of weird. I'm just like, you're, <laughs> you're in college. <laughs> Since seventh grade, your reading level's been college level. So reading's not a problem. Oh, everything else is a problem. Gotcha. I don't know how to paint this. So I'm just going to wing it. Airy, how's it going? How you doing? So I'm like trying to like wave, but you can see it on the screen. <laughs> uh. 
I'll have to do all these little details separately. Let's see, just got back from your parents. Oh, that was fun. Did you have a good time? Gave me you give a lot of grief about Cosmo? What do they not like Cosmo? Where do they live? I'll beat him up. No, I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that. What our lovable Cosmo? What? Is it because they think that he's not good enough for you? Didn't know how to spell because every single person left. So all the silent letters and how putting letters together makes a different sound. So, yeah. Yeah. Man, third third graders are brutal. I mean, I was a pretty pretty terrible speller back in the day. I'm still a pretty terrible speller now. Like, still. They don't like that he... They don't like that he doesn't believe in the code vaccine and there's Republican in their eyes. Yeah, he researches and thinks for himself. So many neocons in the R's these days. <laughs> oh my god. Well, there's there's no way there's no way Cosmo can be Republican. He, he cares a little bit too much about people. Like you cannot believe in the COVID vaccine. Like that's fine. Um, I got it, but um. I'm not I'm not even sure if it really helped um at all. 
I mean, I've never had COVID, but I, and I never got COVID. Um, But when you're just able to, like, come out with a vaccine like that within a couple months, it's a uh, makes you a little skeptical. I do hate slavery. And the party that outlawed slavery. So they <laughs> slavery's stupid. Yeah. Wait. Wait, you're talking about the whole technically wait, hold on. You know what, I'm not getting into the whole politics, pol politics 200 years ago and the swap, whatever. Um, well, thanks for the follow. It's... He got it for the first time in September. Oof. Yeah. I've I've known people who have the vaccine and still got COVID multiple times. Um so I'm not sure if the vaccine actually worked or if it's just I'm lucky. <laughs> or if I'm just have a really good immune system or some shit. Yeah, I I also try to avoid politics. Um I try to avoid talking about them for the most part. Ex except for some stupid like that Oklahoma bill. I'll talk about shit like that all day cuz I it's just funny to me. Um and real it's real stupid. But, um, like, um, you'll, you'll never hear me talk about all the, the shit that's happening with Israel and Palestine, because that shit's way more complicated than a lot of people think. And, uh, it's just best to avoid it. So come... Time to hang out, get away from real life drama. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Like, there's some, there's some politics that I, that I will talk about, but that's generally when it comes to things like trans people, or, you know, or L the LGBT community, or like disabled people, because uh, you know. 
those uh populations they get fucked over left and right <sighs> like um when i was in my supervision appointment we were talking about i think i want to say it was was it oklahoma I think it was Oklahoma again. Well, let me let me see if I can find it. Um, Oklahoma, what is it? Counselor required. Trans people. Oh, let's see here. I think it had to do with, I don't know. It, it was something about, um, it was something about counselors or therapists or whatever having to tell the state when they're treating someone who's trans. Um, and on how... Like, if the state that I lived in... Well, the state that I have a license in, which is Texas. And if Texas ever decided to do something like that, I would just get out of the counseling field. Um... Or I would just not be licensed in Texas, in Texas, um, because I would definitely not tell the state, um, whether or not I was treating a trans person, because that's dumb. I shouldn't have to tell anybody shit. Unless they're a danger, unless a person is a danger to themselves or others, I, sh I shouldn't have to say shit to anybody. Uh, I mean, yeah, for the most part. Yeah, doctor, patient, confidentiality. There's a, there's a lot of legal loopholes when it comes to shit like that. Unfortunately, unfortunately, there's a lot of legal, legal loopholes. Let's see. Now, counselors and therapists aren't allowed to tell parents anything. Then why are they allowed to tell the state? Technically, counselors and therapists are allowed to tell parents things about their minor children. Technically. Technically. In most states. I don't know if there's if there's any state. I can't remember if there's any state. Um that prohibited that. But technically. <laughs> like in the state of Texas, where I am licensed, like if a parent wanted information about their minor under the age of 18 child they are privy to that information or it might be actually it might be under 16 anyways it it's either it's either under it might be under 16 um It's, uh, so I mean, like, te technically, if I had, like, an adolescent client, um, I, 
I could technically tell the parents, be like, no, like, this is confidential between me and your me and your kid. But I think they could technically like sue for that for that information if they wanted to. Thing things get real complicated when minors are involved. Um because parents have to consent. Because minors aren't allowed they they can't minors can't consent. Um so their parents have to be so it it gets real it's it gets real weird. Um Like, like, I don't have to, I don't have to tell shit to parents, right? But, um, their file, their, their child's notes, they can technically have, right? So, um, so I could be like, well, I don't have to physically tell you anything, and they're only going to find out what's in the notes, which generally don't have everything. It's usually like a summary of, of what uh, happened during session for the most part. If you're under 16 in New York. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see here. Let's see. Oh, that's California. So California is 12 and older. See minors and consent. Yeah, the uh. Yeah, in New York, it might be a gray, a gray area. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Following categories, minors can legally consent to all their health care, pregnant teens, parents, married, armed forces, emancipated or incarcerated. And then they can consent to certain mental health services, but that doesn't say what. So I think it depends. Depends if if a minor can consent in New York. It's uh 
of course it it's never a straight answer I'll have to deep dive more into it. <laughs> oh, man. It's a tricky process and generally not guaranteed. That's pretty funny. So, so yeah, so generally when a minor receives mental health treatment without parental consent, treatment records generally may not be released to anyone without the patient's permission. However, that also means that if that mental health treatment needs parental consent, those records can be released. So it, it really, it depends. Provider may withhold information from a minor parent patient's parents if the minor is over the age of 12 and ob objects to the, to the disclosure. I wonder if, but I wonder if that would keep parents from suing for that information. Yeah. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> So yeah, so basically, if a parent has, if a parent has to consent for their minor children, then the parents are usually privy to the information. Um, I mean, I can say no, right? But um, the the parents can, you know, get a lawyer if they really wanted to. Doesn't really matter <laughs> a few years and you're going back to Australia. Well, that's good. Hopefully Australia is a little bit better. Let's see, parenting classes oh, should happen. Yeah, I agree. Par parenting classes 100% need to be a thing. So many people become parents when they shouldn't be becoming parents. Also, I believe that people who do family blogging need to be visited by CPS at least once a month. Because, <sighs> uh, that shit's traumatic. <laughs> that's, that's, that's job security. Which is pretty terrible to say. Oh, and like the whole the whole thing with like minors and like therapy, it's that's the main reason why I don't really want to see minors. Um, I don't really want to take minors on as clients, is because of that whole gray area. Um, 
and I'd rather only see children during like family, like family group counseling. In Australia, even health professionals are allowed to keep things private to guardians. Yeah, yeah, that's not, that's not how, that's not how a whole lot of states operate, unfortunately. In those, in those cases where kids are able to consent on their own, um... then and you don't have to tell a guardian guardian everything but um it's 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 real it's real complicated when it comes to mental health and minors um cuz uh if If you're seeing if you're seeing a minor for mental health problems, there's a huge possibility that the problem is within the home. Dwar I don't dwarves don't need therapy. They just they just need a they just need a mine. They just need to, to mine some rock and stone. That's their therapy. That's all they need. <laughs> so, and thanks for the gift sub. What do I need to say? Yes, yeah, harmed if life is risk. Yeah, but that therein kind of lies the problem, is that even if someone isn't at any immediate risk at the moment, that doesn't mean that it can't escalate over time if said problem is not, like, fixed. So, if you have a, if you have a child who has, like, a really overbearing parent, right? If I don't get the parent involved, then that parent's just going to continue to be an overbearing parent, and that child is not, is arguably not going to get any better. Like if a if a parent is a, the problem, parent the parent needs to be told that they're a problem. But in a nicer way. Obviously, I'm not gonna go to a parent and be like, you're the fucking problem. Well, that would be great to say. I'd probably get fired. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Some some people's problems. They're. They, a lot of problems are solvable. 
there's a lot of people out there whose problem can be solved with money. Some people's problem can be solved by breaking up with whoever they're dating. All right, later. You have a nice night. Time is Okay, I'll wait for that to dry a bit. Oh, dear. Gosh, dang it. I accidentally painted over cleavage. There we go, that's better. Mm hmm. Oh, I miss the little, like, ornament, a little, little detail. Hmm. 
There we go. Mm, now I have those little chains on the back. Mm. Yeah. So our sleeves are like partially rolled up. That's a little bit better. A little bit of a stretch. Oh,
well, trying to put an eyeball in there and spectacularly failed. We'll not be trying that. We'll not be trying that again. <laughs> Feel like I need one of those like single hair brushes, which I do not have. Figure out how to do eyes one of these days. They're just so freaking tiny.
All right, I think I'm done with this one. Doesn't look too bad. I'll put her to the side. Oh. Then let's see how. See how far I can get with this one. Let's see, it's 30. How long have I been streaming? Two and a half hours. Ugh. Don't know if I'll get this one done. I did quite a bit of talk talking today. So we'll see. I have about an hour. Well, hour, hour and a half. Oh, let's see here. Need more colors. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks for the hydrate. Did that did it even go off? Sometimes I don't hear it. There we go. All right, where to start? Start with the skin.
There's like these tiny little earrings. And they're really hard to get to. <laughs> Alright, I think I got them though. Alright, let's the <gasps> uh. trying to figure out what I want the hair.
What is this music I'm listening to? The heck? This. Are we trying to align our chakras or something? Like... Uh, oh, there we go. That's a little bit better. You know, we don't need to line our chakras here. We are chaos. Did it really make... Oh, come on. Kind of want to do like an off. Yeah, there we go. Trying to go for like a like a black, but not black. That's a good color. All right, that's good. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. 
Actually, I'm going to take that a different route. Gonna wait for. Well, I was gonna say we're gonna wait for that to dry, but get that a little bit covered there. All right, and we'll work on. Hmm. Trying to decide what color I want. Oh, what color do I want? Mm. Maybe a blue? Hold on, I might wig out a little bit. I can't decide. Actually, I'll do this. Hmm. 
Like, I can't tell what's clothing and what and what isn't clothing. What clothing's part of what? All right. All right. Sometimes it's a little hard to tell. I imagine I should be able to get done with this by the time stream ends. This one doesn't have a whole lot of detail to it. So we will. Well, no. Well, uh, I'm like, what do I, well, what do I want to do? Need more. Wait, that's what I want to do. <laughs>
Oh dear. Nope. Yeah, there we go. You just oh Yuki's Discord was bot rated. Oh, I've I've heard that bot bot raids are on the loose. I see bot raids are on the loose. Bot bots are on the loose. And it's kind of becoming a problem. It's like a train wreck. I can't look away. Ugh. Yeah, that sucks. Hopefully. Hopefully you're. You're able to get it all sorted.
I'll sort it out. Just, oh, the pop up and spam type. Yeah. I hate those. I got a, like a DM on like Twitter the other day. And uh, I don't normally don't get DMs on Twitter. This one's like, oh, hey, how's it going? I was like, it's going. And then they did some weird bot shit. And I was just like, all right. All right, goodbye. <laughs> enough, enough of that. Be gone. Okay, what is with this song? You want actual people following me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, every, like... Like, you know, you know what's a bot on Twitter. Because they usually have, like, a bunch of, like, numbers. Like, at the end of their name or whatever. And so, like... Every time... Like, someone that has a whole bunch of, like, numbers... In their username, I'm like... That, like, follows me. I'm like, that that's a bot. Uh, nope, you can, uh, you can unfollow me now. So, if you want people to think that you're a bot, just, uh, put a bunch of numbers at the end of your username, and, and people will... <laughs> Cause that's what that's what bots that's what bots generally do. Actually, I'm gonna most of the time you can compare account age. Yeah. I usually try to go by usually they're their account age and like their name because their name can usually tip you off if they're a, like a bot or a scammer or whatever. Because I'm assuming like all those like user usernames and stuff are just kind of like auto. I'm assuming they're just kind of like auto auto generated. Love artists. We can't stand scam bots. Yeah. Uh, I hate them. And even real scammers. Those are the worst. People that aren't the bots. Pe people, people that aren't bots. But they scam anyways. See, those, those guys are the worst. Yeah. 
You're content with your one artist. <laughs> She's an normal wallet blaster. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm freaking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell her that you said that. Cause I know, I know who it is. Just gotta God damn it. Oh Cosmo. She's she's gonna she's gonna run you dry. See, she's secretly playing to buy an eyeliner pillow with cats. Oh my god. That would be hilarious. People will be like, Yuki, how'd you, how'd you, how didn't you manage to buy an entire island? And then she's gonna be like, well, there's this one guy. <laughs> Though to be fair, to to be to be fair, I'll I'll join her in that island of cats. What a what a way to live. He keeps buying art for me, and now I have my own cat. <laughs> I like <it. laughs> Oh, that didn't... That eyeball did not go as planned. That's a little bit better, I think. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even know. God, I suck at eyeballs.
Yeah, I agree. She's she's looking pretty good. I mean, I should be able to get her finished. Um, I think I pretty much just have the staff that's left, but basically. She's supposed to sit. I'm gonna have to redo that eyeball. She's supposed to sit on the throne. Mm-hmm. So, I won't have her little throne done today, but I should at least have her. And since I started to stream a smidgen earlier, I won't really have to worry about time. Because it's like, when, when I started my stream, like at like 7 my time, Man, I wouldn't get I wouldn't get to bed until like midnight. Cause I would have to clean everything up. And then I always need time to wind down before I'm able to go go to sleep. We'll, we'll see how what what tonight brings. God, I got really shitty sleep last night. For no particular reason. Other than... Well, actually, it could have been a caffeine. I got a little bit too much caffeine yesterday. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> Matt knows. Oh, freaking closed caption. No, I was, I had to, I was talking. You know what? You know what? Never mind. 
Oh, never mind. It's not. It's not important. <laughs> True. I'm. I'm. I'm back. No more distractions, or at least for the moment. <laughs> What's going on? Something about a fart. Okay. There was <laughs> there's <laughs> there's <laughs> there's nothing about that. There were, part of it was correct though. <laughs> there's a a patch was involved. <laughs> but no no farts were involved in that conversation. But uh what's uh what's happening? A fart patch? No. No, 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 no fart patches. It was about a patch, but not, but not, not that kind of patch. Fuck. <laughs> see your uh, see your having prime it minis before painting them. Uh, I did, I did prime it. It is primed. <laughs> Primed with gray. At least this one should be primed. Yeah, it feels like it's primed. I th that's just the that's just the primer that I had, or that we have. Yeah, they make they make all sorts of color primers. Black, white, red, blue. Yeah, like, like, I don't know. I guess it's. So, I mean, I guess if you're painting like. A certain color of army or whatever. You can just. Kind of use that color primer and. I guess it makes it easier. I, I don't really know. Like, like I know that you generally want to use 
certain type of primer like when it comes to either like a larder a lighter darker type of primer depending on what what color the you're using for like the base of your miniatures because i guess that can make a difference But considering I'm not entering in a painting competition, I don't really care. See, black or white will help accent the paint. Yeah, Matt, something, something like that. Or something. <laughs> You're barely a writer. I mean, you don't have to be good at something in order to be an artist. You don't have to be good at art to be an artist. You just have to make you just have to make it. You should stretch. Oh, thanks for the stretch. Oh, thanks, Matt. Oh, man. Oh, hand for the hydrate. Chicken attack. Oh, shit. Chicken attack. Not the chickens. Yeah, I am getting kind of tired. Like, I can play games, like, late into the night, but man, painting takes a lot of cognitive effort. Oh, God, why? Rude. Sending the chickens after me. What did I ever what did I ever do to you? Oh, I missed some uh, brown here. And what? What? No, 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 boing. Let's see. Need a greens. Do I have? Dark green. No.
Got that color. So something smells good in my house. It smells like popcorn. Popcorn does sound good right now, but I'm probably going to go to bed after this. Kiki, what's your problem? Kiki's been a mess ever since we moved in. What?
<sighs> Almost. What? 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 She's being old brat. Kiki. Kiki, come here. Okay, see how it is, Kiki. Wow.
Let's see, I need to fix of our other areas real quick. Here. All right. No, so she's done. Oh, and that'll be it for tonight. Wish I had some better lighting, but this is all I got. I got her done. Just take a bag of popcorn, pour, pour hot sauce in the bag, and then shake it up. I bet that, bet that's pretty good. I did her earlier. If you weren't here to see that, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be it for tonight. Ugh. Alright. Well, thanks, Cosmo. I'm uh, getting pretty, pretty decent at like uh, at, uh, like brush control. So I'm definitely getting better in that regard. See if I can. Move things around without breaking everything. At least I have steady enough hands to do, to do it. Yeah, I, I have pretty, I have pretty steady hands. I hope they stay that way. All right, let's me see who is available to read tonight. Let's see who's ready. Used to, and then your incident screwed everything up. Oh, that sucks. Really sucks when you go from being able to do things to not being able to do things. Uh, let's see. 
Let's gob the goblin up too. Looks like they're playing a little bit of D&D, &D, so let's go... Let's... Let's go visit them. Let's go... Let's go visit Gob the Goblin, playing some D&D. Some &D. Alright, well, thanks everyone for coming to stream. I really appreciate it. Let's see, I'll be on tomorrow. Uh, for Fastball Friday with Cosmo, Dairy, and Yuki. Yeah, Fasmo Friday, I'm excited. I always look forward to Fasmo Friday. Um, I don't know what time you want to start. Uh, I can start. I can start at one. Like I can start whenever. So, but yeah, um, uh, come, come check out phasmophobia, phobia, phasmophobia, or phasmo Friday. We'll, we'll have a lot. We'll have a lot of fun. I've been wanting to play phasmophobia. <laughs> I'm like, do I want to play it solo though? I'm like, oh. I don't know about playing Phasmophobia solo. I don't have my Snackrifice with me. I don't have my Snackrifice for emotional support. <laughs> All right, well, thanks everyone for coming to the stream. I really appreciate it. Um, And we're gonna go raid Gob Phasma Friday? Yeah. Yeah, that. Phasmophobia. <sighs> Osmo Friday. Yeah, it's always harder without a sacrifice. I don't know, in Cosmo, I think we should start doing like those challenges like no no sanity runs and no sanity pills. You know? That would be fun. It's for the content, Cosmo. Just do it for the content. Um all right, anyways. <laughs> Matt, I keep Yuki Yuki hates it. Every every time every time I bring it up, I'm like, you know, because Yuki, she's always like, Can you can you take the sanity meds? And she's always like how all the time. And I'm like, you know, we should just have a run where we don't have the sanity meds. <laughs> Y Yuki doesn't like it. It's funny because Yuki doesn't like when it hunts, but Yuki rarely ever goes into the houses um, if she's not asked to. So, but, but yeah, anyways, hey, part, part of getting better as a game or better at a game is to challenge yourself, right? Right? <laughs> And, and, and plus, we should have a little fun. <laughs> yeah, you're always taunting the ghost. <laughs> All right. Anyways, I'm gonna go because I'm tired. Uh, I hope I hope everybody has a good rest of your night and a good rest of your life. And I will see you some other time. Bye. Bye. Freaking Matt. Freaking inspiring Cosmo. His tisk. Bye.